CRISPR has been all over the news in the past couple of years, and with good reason. The gene editing tool is making gene editing easier and faster than ever, and the possibilities in the world of food are endless. Put simply, CRISPR is a powerful tool for editing genomes, meaning it allows researchers to easily alter DNA sequences and modify the function of the gene, essentially tailoring characteristics of the living organism. But before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a comment saying I subscribed and I'll reply personally to as many as I can. Now let's get straight into how CRISPR is impacting the food we eat. By working with plants and livestock's own genetic code, gene editing tools like CRISPR allow scientists to edit specific DNA to enable beneficial characteristics of the plant and remove negative ones, all without adding anything that wasn't already there. Let's have a look at five interesting CRISPR projects in the world of food. One, creating cows that produce less methane. We've heard time and time again how much cows contribute to the emissions of greenhouse gases. Some claim that cows belching is worse for the environment than driving cars. Even though that's debatable, cows really do produce a lot of methane, and it's certainly having a negative impact on our planet. Cows get nutrition by chewing cud, partly fermented plant matter, that is regurgitated from the first of its four stomachs, prior to being digested. The methane that cows produce is mainly caused by microbes, which live in the cow's digestive tract, rather than in the cattle themselves. Gene editing and selective breeding could provide a long-term solution to cut down these methane emissions. A report published in September 2020 by Information Technology and Innovation Foundation looked at how gene editing can tackle climate challenges. From optimizing biofuels to improving the sustainability of aquaculture and reducing methane emissions from rice fields and cows. Their report suggested that gene editing could lead to a 50% improvement in agricultural productivity by 2050. And with around 1.4 billion cows on the planet, it makes up the second largest agricultural greenhouse gas emission after food waste. That being said, another effective way to reduce methane that seems to be showing positive effects is altering a cow's diet. Research conducted in 2018 found that adding seaweed to their feed could reduce emissions from cows by up to 99%. 2. Naturally decaffeinated coffee beans Tropic Biosciences, based in the UK, have created a gene-edited variety of coffee beans that are naturally decaffeinated. By utilising CRISPR, the company has been able to turn off the gene that makes the bean produce caffeine. This can have an enormous impact on the flavour, nutrition and cost of decaf coffee. Currently producing decaf coffee requires a costly and aggressive process in which the beans are soaked and steamed. And according to their CEO, Gilad Gershon, if you grow the beans without caffeine or with a lower amount then you can achieve an end product that is a lot closer to the taste of natural coffee and you can remain a larger content of the very healthy compounds that are naturally found in coffee beans. 3. Naturally spicy tomatoes. The humble tomato is about to get a makeover. Scientists in Ireland are using CRISPR to create the first tomato that is naturally spicy. Interestingly, tomatoes already carry many of the genes to produce capstacin the compound that gives chili peppers its spicy flavour. Why bother, you may say? Chili peppers can be notoriously hard to grow. They require very specific conditions and produce inconsistent levels of spice. They also have a much lower yield than tomatoes. By using CRISPR, it could be easier to grow. By using CRISPR and creating a spicy tomato, it could increase the yields and make it more efficient to grow. And you may not need to wait that long, as researchers have already made their first hybrid of spicy tomatoes. 4. More nutritious fish Already, aqua-adventured salmon is genetically engineered to grow twice as fast as normal salmon and is currently being produced in Canada. But with CRISPR gene technology, scientists can go even further. A research group in Norway have used CRISPR to produce sterile salmon, which makes them grow better and less prone to getting sick. And now researchers are investigating traits that could improve the nutrition of the fish. They're interested in improving the genetics for better welfare of the fish, making it more disease resistant. And in the future, they want to look at techniques that can enhance the omega-3 content of the fish, making it healthier and more nutritious. 5. Allergy-free foods Food allergies affect a huge percentage of the population, and in some cases, can even be deadly. With CRISPR, it could be possible to make milk, eggs, peanuts, and whatever food safe for everyone to eat. A research group in the Netherlands is currently using CRISPR technology to modify the DNA of wheat and remove the gluten. This will make it suitable for celiacs. However, due to the EU's strict regulation on using CRISPR gene technology in plants, it may be difficult to bring to market, at least in Europe. I couldn't make a video on CRISPR technology and not mention this project. 
scientists are looking at ways to bring extinct animals back to life. Although this sounds like it's coming from a science fiction novel, it's not. Scientists are currently working on bringing back animals that were extinct. And the first candidate is a passenger pigeon, once a dweller in North American forests. Using CRISPR technology, researchers plan to introduce genes from the passenger pigeon into modern day relatives. They will breed the hybrid for several generations until the offspring's DNA closely matched that of the extinct species. And the first generation of the revived pigeon is expected to hatch in 2022. And after the pigeon could be the woolly mammoth. A group in Harvard is currently looking at a way to bring back the woolly mammoth that went extinct thousands of years ago. So as you can see, CRISPR has technology to turn molecules into the new microchips. And although the possibilities are endless, we need to ensure this powerful technology is used properly. Leave us a comment and let us know what food trend you'd like us to cover next. If you enjoyed this video, then give this video a like. We'll have new videos coming every week in 2022. And if you'd like to learn more about some of the hottest food trends, sign up to our free trend reports on ghost kitchens, vertical farming and more. You can check out the link in our description. Absolutely free. Until next time, ciao ciao.